I'm here today in front of the district court because one of our activists has been accused and charged for resisting uh, police arrest and uh, this was because uh, last year in October, on October 15th, some activists uh, occupied the Nigerian embassy because of the collaboration between the German government and the Nigerian government in deporting Nigerian refugees back to Nigeria. And uh, in this collaboration there were some corrupt uh, accusations from the refugee side and even before this action, uh, the voice sent a letter to the embassy saying that they should stop this practice or else uh, uh, other actions or measures are going to be taken. To the letter, they did, to the petition, the embassy did not respond. That's why during the action days uh, of the refugee march, some activists of Nigeria decided to, uh, to occupy their embassy and the police was called and supporters went to see that uh, these activists uh, would not be brutalized. Thomas Ndinta was one of these activists and he even registered this uh, uh, rally which was in front of the embassy and uh, because I was also there and being beaten by the police, he saw it and tried to stop the beating and this is why he was accused. He was accused for trying to help uh, uh, to stop the police from beating me. That's why I'm here today. Don't the justice we are fighting for, I think it cannot be isolated from the whole development of the society. Because we are here and we are giving our best to make sure that um, we can't ignore the presence of human beings just in the name of nationality or color, you know. At least those who did this action wanted to send a signal to the system, to the state, to the frontiers, especially that the deportation is a crime against humanity. Deportation is a form of elimination. But from the development of the German society, it's elimination here and the country you come from. So, protesting at the embassy is just a little thing. I think the most important thing is even to disarm them. Yeah? They just cannot be in the name of force, in the name of brutality like the police. The police should be totally disarmed, I think. So now there's a break in the in the trial as the um, police witnesses could not be heard today. In general, it went quite okay. A declaration which was prepared from my side, I couldn't read it fully for lack of time. But I, in case of going on of the trial, I can still do it next time. Um, I think I. Quite, was quite able to denounce the constructed charges against me regarding uh, um, violent interference with the police. It was just the other way around that I tried to de-escalate violent action of the police, unlawful action actually, and uh, I was not actually pulling the police guy to the back, but he was trying to push me away. This uh, court judge, I don't see her too much interested in the political backgrounds and whereabouts of A, our struggle, and B, of general police violence in the city. So she's rather in an uh, intention to uh, yeah, give protection to uh, the heavy duty of uh, police, which means violence to those who are not willing 
to do what they just assume that should be done, you know. If we are in the resistance, we have a different opinion, different task. And those people with uniforms, they are in general not capable of handling a situation in an adequate way, as we now experienced on various occasions already. Wir haben hier heute den, den ersten Verhandlungstag gegen Thomas Ndinda gehört. Ich denke, es ist hier sehr ausführlich über das Thema Polizeigewalt gesprochen worden. Das war unser Interesse. Es geht uns zentral darum, der Öffentlichkeit deutlich zu machen, was am 15. Oktober im Zusammenhang mit der Besetzung der nigerianischen Botschaft passiert ist. Ich denke, das ist sehr eindrucksvoll gelungen durch die Berichte, die Thomas Ndinda, aber auch Cornelius Sofanje dort im Gericht vorgetragen haben. We should see the connection between Tom and all the other people and we should see the connection also to mobilize, not only to come to court, but to mobilize to inform other refugees that they should continue resisting, they should even occupy all their embassies also. This is an action that we should uh, uh, take into consideration and for Tom it's the first case. I would be the next or someone else and we need a strong statement to say that if Tom is criminalized, I hope he's not because I, he didn't do anything and if he's charged for not doing anything, it means those who really uh, resisted, like me, because I was punched, it means we are going to have a stronger condemnation. But again, I repeat, I would do the same thing that I did on this day a thousand times if it has to happen again. I don't let any policeman hit me. I would not let any policeman hit Tom. And even if Tom is uh, uh, condemned today or made guilty today, I think he should continue till the highest court. And I think every refugee or migrant that is involved, that was involved on this day, who's been charged by the police for resistance or whatever uh, uh, cr uh, crimes, who's been criminalized by the police, should resist against this criminalization and should fight against this criminalization. This is very important for all of us and we should take this very, very seriously because uh, a threat on one of us is a threat on all of us. And if we don't fight it together, we are going down together. <laughs> Hi.